Hi, this is Mike J. Welcome back to the channel. What I want to talk about here today is the interior quality of the C7 Corvettes. Now, those of you know that I have a 18 Stingray. Right now, it's about five months old. There's about a little under 900 miles on the car. And I want to give a shout out to Underfed Coyote 5.0, Fran. He criticizes me about not driving my vet much, that it just basically goes in and out of the garage for filming purposes. But anyways, I was on vacation for the whole week. I have driven this car and put about 300 miles on it. And this is what I came up with, with the interior flaws that are in this car. Now, I'm gonna show you this the best I can. And keep in mind that this vehicle is only about five months old in my possession with under a thousand miles and it was used on three days worth of driving consistently. And I'm going to show you the center armrest console on this car. You see that? If you have very bony elbows, okay. This does not work. Now this has never happened before until I had this car for three days where I was driving it consistently. Yes, I know here in Phoenix, Arizona, it gets really hot, but as you can see, it is denting, dimpling where your elbow rests. Now, mine is an automatic transmission. Now, can you imagine if you bought a seven speed manual, your elbows, your arm will be placed along this armrest all the way to the shifter if it was a manual transmission. Now I wanna show you how flimsy this thing is. Okay, there's hardly any padding. Okay, it looks like when it's plastic underneath, all right? And I believe the foam that they're probably putting in here is not very, uh, padded and it does not go back to its original form and shape now would you guys pay upwards of seventy thousand dollars for a car is this excusable as far as wear especially when the car is not even driven all that much so could you imagine if you daily drove it with your arms sitting right there and if you are pretty much a heavier man with a big heavy elbow, that ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be a canyon down there. But anyways, I'm gonna show you on my Camaro SS that I drive on a daily basis that I've had for almost two years. And I'm gonna show you the armrest on the Camaro. All right, daily driven, every single day. You see how thick? The armrest is, okay, let me show you. All right, no indentions. In fact, the leather on this seems like a much higher quality than that's what's in the Corvette. No dimples, no impression, no marks, no whatsoever. So, you know, I gotta say that the quality materials they use in the Camaro SS I think it's top notch. But anyways, this is not really a bitch video. All I'm saying is that the wear on some of the interior parts in the Corvette C7 are not really all that great. And I had a passenger friend of mine, you know, that rode in this car. This seat has never been sat in, you know, the interior, it, it wrinkles, doesn't go back to form, but that's the least of the problems because this is just a base trim level. Now, the guys that have bought the two LTs, three LTs, their dashboard is leather. My dashboard is not leather, and they're having separating issues, wrinkling issues along the seams, which mine doesn't have. So anyways, should you buy a new C8 with everything that's brand new. Keep in mind the only thing that they share 
with the C7 and the C8 is one component. And I believe that would be the motor, an upgraded LT1 motor. But anyways, you guys saw the armrest. First thing I did was went on the vet forums, pages and pages and pages of the armrest wrinkling, deforming, dimpling. Some of the guys have had them replaced multiple times through Chevrolet, all right? There was a guy that I have saw on the forum, four times he's had his center armrest console replaced because it will do it again and again and again because it's the same part. So I guess some people are actually taking it apart and having somebody refit it with better foam. But anyways, if you daily drive a C6 or possibly the new C8, who knows how the interior is gonna hold up. That is exactly why the C8, the first generation, you know, I am gonna hold off because, you know, Chevrolet had five years to figure this out with certain problems. And then also you've got the upper trim levels with the rims bending and cracking. So why hasn't Chevrolet addressed these issues if they're going in for warranty claim? But anyways, that is my impression, and that is what I'm experiencing on a car with under a 1,000 miles that is barely driven, and those are the wear issues. Maybe it's Phoenix because it's hot, but that's not an excuse because aren't you supposed to drive these things? But anyways, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment. Tap the notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. You know, this makes, you know, a ZL1 much more tempting because with the new vets, you just don't know. They can't even figure all this out. And they have five years on a C7. Thanks for watching. Take care.